All right, we are back with Clover Collectibles, opening up some more boxes of Unstable. Unstable, a beautiful set, the set of the year until uh, what's my call comes out. Twenty five. Yeah, Twenty five. Twenty five will be the big. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the big set of 2018. Since it's technically the best set of 2017. For the new year, we need a good new set. That's how you're supposed to open it, right? Make sure that's oh, good. that's not how you're supposed to open it. Good start. Good start to the video. I like it. You, you know, I, I talk hey, generally yes, about yes. your cleanliness in um, opening videos and yeah. so how it doesn't exist. Trust, trust me. I, I'm fine. I'm very good at this. Now, now what's great is they're not mapped no, anymore. No, no, not mapped at all anymore. No, now, yeah, no, now it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be in there. God damn it. <laughs> So no idea what it is. First one. Is yeah, 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 yeah. Good start. And a very good start. Very good command. start then. Whoa. Good box. Good hey, box. clue token. I got excited for that. <sighs> oh, we yeah. do have to hold the. Hey, tokens. Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good first pack. Who wants Stopter tokens? Uh, Zach needs Stopter tokens because he is running uh, uh, Brea. Okay. So Brea makes Stopters. So he needs many, many Stopters. Even though he'll only make like two at a time until he has infinite. Mm -hmm. And then he needs infinite tokens. Knight of the Widget. That which, which Knight of the Widget oh. is worth money? I do not remember. Island. Okay, we'll put it aside. BB Gone, Beast. Okay. Are any of the tokens back up to a dollar? I think uh, Spirit the before Spirit were. Spirit token has been hovering there. The Elemental token, uh, the red one, has been hovering there because a lot of people are playing uh, Young Pyromancer right now. Mm. So that one's been going back up. And uh, the angel token surprisingly keeps like shooting up to a dollar and then back to twenty five cents. Yeah, I'm sure it's one of those. Oh, yeah, and an Urza too. Sword of Dungeons nice. and Urza. That is that is a good box so far. Knight of the Widget. Oh, now we'll check those. Later. Yeah, I don't. Know. I already put Knight of the Widget in. There we go. We got it out. One of them is worth money. It's kind of like one of those garbage elementals where one version has like slightly over a dollar. Swamp. Eight hey, is that a elemental token? Steam Flogger Temp, Half Orc, wow. Serpentine, Forest. I have to remember to look for the garbage elementals too, because yeah. I may have found quite a few of them when I went back there. <laughs> Let's see. Home ball machine and island. There it is. Oh, we, we got a foil 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 boom flinger. Uh, That's common. common. Oh, poop flinger. Foil poop flinger. I mean, it is a goblin. A jack knife. You don't know what's coming out of that slingshot. It's, probably not huh? it's a goblin. You don't know what's coming out of that slingshot. Right? Which you want from X Files? They look like monkeys. <laughs> that one is so weird. I'm like, Pirate monkey. Yeah, I'm like, this is not a goblin. goblin I don't know what you think this is. I, I, ooh, I Garbage elemental unleash. Probably uh, not. More or less. It's like the the undying one. one. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the other ones is also oh. close to a dollar. Yes. Uh, battle cry, if I remember right. The big idea is not worth anything. My little mountain did I miss one? Mountain. Ooh, a foil hydra doodle. Ooh. Maybe, maybe a dollar. A rope. Okay. Just wait and get my kids. Oh, uh, we got a foil in this box or this pack. <laughs> I hope you get at least one foil. A foil in the box. hummingbird. I got a foil in this one too. Crow storm shell fin. How did uh, you get a foil? Foil amateur. A tour. I can't. I can't remember. A redditor. A planes. And we are kind of uh, behind the 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 average for foil full art lands for the recent boxes, no, I should say, uh, because we've got what we've gone foil two or handy. three without one. I would yes, say maybe we've gone about one. three boxes without one. So I would say we're overdue if I believed in that. Uh, very cryptic command. Nice. Forest. If wizards would like to reprint another tour of god boxes and then just send them to us, we will totally take it. We, we will uh, I be happy to accept, humbly. The foil ninja. I, I got two uh, augment foils. Really? Yeah. The really? or a hummingbird and a ninja. We were talking about 25, and 25, I'm excited for it because lots of great reprints coming out. The big question is, are they going to flood the market? And we don't know. I'm sure they're expecting a big payoff from it because, you know, you don't have a 25-year anniversary every year. 
Yeah, well, I mean, depends what you're celebrating. Yeah. Our 25th anniversary of the first anniversary. <laughs> We're now it's the 25th anniversary of Beta. Yeah. Now it's the 25th anniversary of Up Revised. Another night of the kitchen sink. Wings. Application of my spirit token. It's worth a little. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, I'm a little worried about Masters 25, but it looks like it's going to be at least a fun set. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, oh, a foil. A foil BB. foil BB. That's good. Nice. That's a couple bucks. Uh, the problem I see with it as a draft is there's too many things going on. I mean, you do have. Oh, it is! It is! It is one set that is a chaos draft. Yeah, it, it, it alone is going to be chaos. You'll have people Anybody. playing rats. You can have someone playing Flash Hulk in a draft, well, and that's terrifying in and among itself. When I saw that they had the possibility of the Rat Tribal, and I think I saw this <laughs> one cat in there, yeah. I was really hoping they'd put that uh, one cat from uh, yeah, is it Almond you, Cat or something? Yeah, it gives where, you protection, from, protection rats. from rats, and it gives the other person two rats. Because I would love to see a Cat Tribal go against a Rat Tribal and have the Rat Tribal just decimated if they get the right <laughs> card out. Just be like, oh, you got Relentless Rat? Hey, Spike, not worth anything. Uh... Like, hey, you got a whole bunch of real endless rats? Oh, I killed them, I killed them, I killed them, I killed them. You know? Ah. Like, Sanctuary cats, cat. Cats do not care. Ooh, a foil. Very, Very nice. nice. Yeah. Or, or just to have the option of, if the person doesn't get the protection from rats out, to have a cat tribal destroyed by a rat Everything tribal. Magic. That's a good one. That was a good pack. Oh, God. Oh, rats. Rats. So many oh, rats. rats. So many. So many rats. I was hoping for uh, Shadowboard Apostle, too, which is one where you can have any number of them, and then you sack six of them and get a demon out on the field. Oh, nice. That's always fun. I miss those weird demon things where if you, if you just got your pieces of Exodia, you can get your <sighs> demon. Squirrel dealer but foil. <laughs> there are no bad cards in my grandfather's deck. <laughs> that, I think that's what, you know, ruined a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh players, is the ethics in that show were <laughs> way off. And here's how you cheat. Yeah, was, isn't the, wasn't the horrible person like, yeah, I'm going to send you to the Shadow Realm so I could win this one card, yeah. and that's completely fine. So it's like, you wonder I'm why... I'm just going to murder this small yes. child yeah. while uh, people a, watch, and you'll love it. Um, oh, yeah. Like you just destroy their brain. It's fine. Right. To win. I mean, that's all that matters. And that is the spirit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Oh, and the puns. Yeah. The puns. How many puns? I don't know. I am not familiar with the puns in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> oh, Every time Kaiba would supposedly die, well, Kuro's episode, he came back. Uh -huh. And, uh... Like, oh, he's a zombie now. He's like, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. Oh, God. <laughs> that's just painful. That's uh, it's like, uh, if you've ever seen the uh, anime Akagi, mm -hmm. where it is like life or death mahjong. Yeah, I love life and Akagi. And then it just becomes life or death gambling. And you're just like, why? Wow, it's mahjong. Chill yeah. out. I, I love that they put weird uh, things that they're gambling. Because it's like, you're not gambling anything of actual value. It's like, we're gambling how many inches I'm going to drill this drill into your skull. Yeah. Good luck. Hopefully I'll <laughs> stop. Because for some reason, I just enjoy possibly killing people. I mean, what else are you going to do on a Wednesday, Frank? Oh, yeah, I got nothing to do. I mean, you're an old man, you're going to hook someone up to a machine regular that sucks their blood. Cents? No, it's a dollar $1. twenty-five. Dollar. Regular beef. Yeah. I mean, when you're that rich, money doesn't matter at some point. I guess you just want to see the how, most many, dangerous how many fingers you can collect and how many people can do horrible things to themselves for a little bit of money. Ha-ha! Yes. And if someone happens to fall off a building, that's not our fault at oh, all, right? That's just, no. They agree to it. It's, it just happens to be really windy, and we've greased that one rope. It's okay. <laughs> Damn it, Japan. Oh, Japanese culture. You are different. Swamp. Still no foil hey, so far. blessing. Or no foil nope. side quest. Yeah, no foil no uh, uh, arms. Better than one island. No Squirrel. Let's see, what other fun cards are in 25? They got Azusa, I'm excited about. Azusa is good. Uh, the commander players are going to like that. Pearl Squirrel stuff. Especially because I'm just finishing up a Thrasios deck. 
Mm -hmm. And Horatios is fast and mean, but not in a mean way. Mm -hmm. It just kind of goes, ah, I win. Yeah. Rather than, like, stacks Thrasios. Because well, it's Thrasios and Kaidel, so I'm full Simic. They were very smart. They were very commander... Ooh, magic word foil. They were very commander-friendly in it. Because yes. they even put in cards that were just commander releases in it. Yes. Which I thought was a surprise, because I thought they'd keep it to their core sets. Mm -hmm. But they did reprint some commander cards. So... That will make some people happy. That and there is what? Oh. At least one or two popper legends, right? Oh, yeah. There's a couple of good popper cards going in there. Thank you, Tulare Community College, for getting that train rolling. <laughs> oh, and hey, three. Garbage Elemental Battle Cry. Maybe that's worth yeah. something. Steam Floggery, Water Market. Oh, Tolto again. Of course. I'm, I'm surprised that Wizards is still slowly releasing yes. Unstable. You can't get Unstable for people who are not, you know, a big store or something like that, who are just buying off the streets. Yeah. Right now, in terms of our business market, none of uh, the wholesalers have Unstable. Yeah. The only person who is releasing it is Wizards Direct. You have to get Wizards Direct and they are limiting it to a certain number for sure, which is why you don't see us do one massive, you know, 500 box opening like we used to do with Unstable. Yep. We can only get, our. we're limited to six boxes a week until Wizards decides to not do it. And even yeah. one week they didn't even release them. No, one so. week they just said nope. And that's why you see us opening five boxes today. We got one set up yeah, for draft for everyone, and the rest we're going to break. Because we got to have a little bit of fun in draft in store. Angel token. Another Thopter. Yeah. But the, the values now Swap. per pack are over $4 on the on the TCG player market, mm -hmm. which is impressive, because anything that gets over retail price within a year of its Best printing... Speed. Yeah, is usually darn good. Or at least fun. Yes. Because, I mean, there's stuff that's worth breaking, there's stuff that's worth playing, and then there's just old stuff that's worth money because old. Yeah. Like, we were, we just got in a whole bunch of Innistrad original, and for some reason the price per box is, what, $150 per box? Uh, yeah, the EV is, like, no, one. The, well, the EV is 150 but people are buying the full box for, for 300, like, 300 bucks. Something. So there's, if you're going to buy a box of Innistrad and break it, you are not going to get your money back by any respect. Unless, unless you get, like, a foil snap, a foil lily, yes, something yes. like that. But the, there's two money cards foil in the set. Foil oh, There's two cards in the set that are worth money, that are yeah. really worth money. And it doesn't make it up when you calculate the EV because it's only two, and you're going to have a huge variability. Now, yes, are you going to get lucky and get a $300 or $400 box? Easily, because oh, yeah. you get a foil lily that's 250 bucks on top of anything else you pull. But you need to do it, and the odds of getting a foil lily are really small. Yeah. We need to talk about foil percentages oh, for sets, yes. because that's something no one's really talked about, what the actual foil percentage are. You know, we all know that, you know, it's what, one in six is a foil for regular packs, one and then eight. one in eight, and then, then... And then from there, who the hell knows? Because you have to open so much to be able to figure out the exact number of, this is how often you'll see a foil wear, <laughs> a foil uncommon, a foil common. So, I mean, it's all up in the air because each set could be different. Mm -hmm. That's true. And uh, I, I'm not willing to do the math there to figure that one out. I am. And I actually <laughs> have been trying to do the math uh, for it. And my, I think, well, honestly, my, my estimation is that they just do a one-to-one -one printing of every single card as foil. So they have 249 cards in a set. That means they have 249 Foil, so your odds of getting a foil, if you do get a foil, the odds of it being any single card is 1 in 249. That's what I believe, because from what we've seen when we were opening, at least for the master sets, mm -hmm. if you open a master set, you know, you've got a chance. We had one box where we had two mythic rares yeah, two in it foils. of the same card. Yep. Didn't, no, did we get two foil uh, we, we got We got, in several, in ten boxes, we got two foil mana two foil mana crypts. So and each of those boxes also had a Jason. Yes. So... The odds of getting a foil mythic in those boxes aren't that bad, so it can't be no. worse than like one in fifteen or one in twenty to get yes. a foil mythic. And so, if that's a fair, he wants what? No. What do we got? I'm not even looking the at the animate line. Right? I'm Please. not paying any attention. Thank you very much. Uh, so that means the odds of getting one of those can't be too rough because we were pretty good about getting a foil mythic yes. in just about every box. Yeah, 
either a foil mythic or uh, at least three foil rares, if I remember right. Yeah, and that's... So it was usually either a foil count. mythic and two foil rares or three foil rares. Yeah. So, so the odds I, are pretty good. I, I honestly think that the breakdown is something like one, three... If you've got 24, uh, like, because we're talking about the Masters, because Masters has one rare foil in every box, so it's easier to do it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, the math comes out to being like one to one and a half mythics, if, if it's even 249 spread out. It's one and a 1.4 mythics. It comes out to about three rares. Then it goes, I think, seven uncommons and ten common rares. I mm -hmm. think that's what the breakdown should be if it's like that. Okay. And it seems like that's pretty similar. Now, the big question is, do they change the odds of mythics and rares in that and make commons and uncommons more common? I don't think so. Hmm. Because even with that, the the odds of you getting you know any any specific card as it... As, as a foil, are 0.5%. So 0.5% yeah. is incredibly small already, yeah. so you're not going to, you know, drown out all those, you know, all those really high-priced mythics. Yep. Because it's just, there's only 15 of them that are Spike, like that. get out of here. Spike's worth 25 cents? I don't know. 50 <laughs> cents, maybe. No one likes Spike. I like Spike. We got one you like are Spike. Did you say Hmm? What? Say <laughs> Thank you for the commentary, Danny. We're, we're, we're making the videos better. <laughs> One comment at a time. One comment at a time. Yeah, but that's it for this. No, nothing huge. No uh, huge foils or anything, but we, we got, got some decent ones. stuff. Rapid, uh, not the oh, I was going to say, you're going to get a rapid <laughs> Fairy area is a big one. Okay. But we didn't hit any foil cryptic commands. We no. didn't hit foil Urza. We didn't hit foil lands. Foil lands. Well, definitely foil lands are what we're looking for. No, yeah, we're definitely looking for the foil foil lands. Yeah. So first two unstable. Eh, I'm sure we'll get our money back. We won't lose. Uh, but we will see if we do better with those ones that are left. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll be doing more unstable. Hopefully, we'll get something that will break a fairy area and a foil Phoebe. See you guys soon.